Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to show you some examples of how to complete long division uh, without a calculator. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to start with a warm-up example just to uh, show you how the division method works. Um, this actually is not a long division question really, because uh, the number we're dividing by is just a single digit number. So I'm just going to go through this one so that you, you see the method and you understand that the way I'm going to set it out. Um, so to start off with, I set it out like that with the number I'm dividing by on the outside and the number I want to divide on the inside. Uh, and if you know your seven times table, uh, then this one shouldn't be too bad. We just work our way through from left to right. Uh, so the first question I ask is, how many times does 7 divide into 3? Uh, the answer is it doesn't. 7 uh, is too big to divide into 3. So uh, it, it's a 0 there. And then we have to work out the remainder that's left over. Well, I haven't um, divided anything yet, so I've still got a 3 to carry over, which I would write in there. And you keep working through. So the next division that I need to do is can I divide 39 by 7? Uh, I know from the times tables that 7 times 5 is 35. That's as near as I can get to 39. So I'll put 5 up there. 7 goes into 39 5 times with a remainder of uh, 4. And then finally, I need to know how many times 7 goes into 42. Uh, the answer is 6. Again, you need to know your times tables here. 7 times 6 is 42. Um, so we've now got the answer. Uh, 392 divided by 7 gives us 56. So that's just so you can see the way that I'm setting it out. Okay, now on to um, a proper long division example. We're going to do 456 divided by 12. Okay, I'm going to basically do this one in the same way, um, but this is a bit harder because uh, you need to know your 12 times table to be able to do it. Um, so, for these ones, I'm going to write the 12 times table at the side before I start so I can refer to it and I'm not going to get the times tables wrong. Okay, so I know that 1 times 12 is 12, 2 12s are 24, and you can keep going from there. Um, this might not be as difficult as it looks, because all we really need to do is keep adding 12 on each time uh, to, to write out the 12 times table. So 36 will be the next one, and so on. Okay, getting a bit more difficult now, but I can still keep adding 12 on. So 7 12s are 84. If I add 12 onto that, that tells me that 8 12 must be 96. And finally, add on again. I only need to go up to 9 when I do this method. You'll never need them higher than 9. Uh, 9 12 is 108. Okay, now to answer the question, uh, and I can refer to the times tables as I go along. 12 goes into 4, 0 times. Uh, so I need to carry the 4 across as I work from left to right. So next question is, how many times does 12 go into 45? If I refer to that, I can see that uh, 12 goes into 36 three times. So to get to 45, um, I need to add on 9 more, so I've got a remainder with 9. And then finally, how many times does 12 go into 96? Uh, this is the advantage now of having the tables written out at the side because I can see straight away that it's 8. Uh, so the answer to that one is 38. <clears throat> okay, uh, next one we're going to divide 715 by 11. And this time, uh, we've printed the 11 times table at the side just to save a bit of time. 
So 11 goes into 7, 0 times. That means I have to carry the 7 across. Then next one, 11 goes into 71. I can now use my table at the side. So how many times does 11 go into 71? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That gets me to 66. And uh, to get from 66 to 71, that's a remainder of 5. And then finally, 11 goes into 55, 5 times. Uh, so the answer is this number at the top. Uh, the answer is 65. Okay, and the last one. Um, again, this looks quite difficult, but if we just keep following the process and work our way from left to right, it doesn't really matter how number this, uh, how big this number is. We can just keep working along until we get the answer. Uh, so the 15 times table is written out for us at the side. Start with 15 goes into six zero times. Carry the six across. Uh, how many times does 15 go into 65? One. Two, three, four. That gets me to 60. With a remainder of five. Uh, next, how many times does 15 go into 54? One, two, three. With a remainder of nine. And that gives me the last calculation I need to do. How many times does 15 go into 90? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. We've no remainder this time. So the final answer for that one is 436. Okay, uh, we're gonna give you a few to have a go at now, so I'll put some more questions up. Uh, the idea is here that you pause the video, uh, spend as long as you need with a pen and paper working out all of these answers. Uh, then when you've done them, if you then run the video on and we'll reveal the answers.